you not love Caleb? We're covering Colorado's weather tonight. Oh, that's a beauty shot. Mm -hmm. Mount Evans, huh, Dave? And 58 degrees out there. Yeah, good uh, looking shot there. And we talked at the top of the show about the Virga. You can see the mm -hmm. kind of the raggedy bottoms of the clouds, that rain evaporating before it makes it to the ground, creating a little breeze out there. Same deal from our Denver City Park camera looking across the city. You can see some of these clouds, uh, cumulus clouds mixed in, trying to get going into thunderstorms. Ain't going to happen. We just don't have quite the lift to get any of these uh, going, uh, but they look pretty good on the satellite. Look at this ride up and down the front range here. Clouds building up with a little shot of moisture coming through, and the radar is even picking up some of that moisture before it does evaporate here, but I'm not looking for much in the way of rain at all from any of those clouds coming through, and it's just this little pocket, just a little pocket of moisture coming up into the Rockies here. We'll tap into this drier air, which spreads all the way into Las Vegas before our next weather maker comes to town, and it's this deep trough, which is already raining and snowing in northern California here. Watch what happens now as we look at the jet stream forecast. We take you into tomorrow. We've got a ridge of high pressure involved with our weather. Tomorrow will be southwest on the wind. That's a warming wind for us. This trough then digs down into California. On Monday, we're still ahead of it. Still got a southwesterly wind. Still have a warm day. And then on Tuesday, same deal, but the trough starts to move into California. And by the time we get to Wednesday, it moves into parts of Arizona. We still have a fairly decent day. And then Wednesday and Thursday, the trough will come through. And that's when we'll have a chance of showers, thunderstorms, maybe even a, a few rain mixed with snow showers coming through Thursday into Friday of next week. High today, though, uh, before all this action gets going, made it to 59 downtown today 60 uh, degrees here at CBS 4 so real nice day for us we will be even warmer than that coming up for tomorrow and 58 is our current temp gusts of wind though are kicking up anywhere from oh about 10 to 20 miles per hour with these uh, Virgus showers coming through so here we go tonight southwesterly flow around here the clouds will clear out by tomorrow morning will be mostly sunny here a few clouds in the mountains and then clear to partly cloudy during the course of the afternoon and in the high country maybe a spit up high of a uh, light snow shower or rain mixed with snow. No big deal there. No advisories or anything like that. Just a little bit of moisture coming through in the afternoon. Low temps tonight, mild night, a lot of 30s on the weather map for almost everybody. A few 20s mixed in in the mountains and temperatures tomorrow, 60s, 70s to near 80. Lamar may make it to near 80 degrees tomorrow, 50s and 40s in the mountains. And we'll be in the 60s out there on the western side of the map. So increasing clouds tonight, a little Virga creating some breezes tonight and a mild evening. We'll be in the uh, mid 30s then tomorrow mostly sunny warmer near 70 tomorrow both downtown and at the airport and then 71 on monday 69 on tuesday a nice stretch there and then wednesday into thursday that's where that little trough comes through we'll see the wind pick up maybe some afternoon showers coming our way as well and beyond that more 60s friday into saturday leading into next weekend and then finishing out next weekend kathy with another snowstorm mixed with rain around here. These are very wet, very weak systems that we're seeing coming through. All right, Dave, thank you. Okay, you bet. Well, we have no idea when we'll see baseball this year.